Well, Jack, Jack Tweed joins us now alongside our own uh, Richard Arnold. Jack, you were just saying, actually, in the break there, that, that you saw a preview of the documentary yesterday. Well, and it was all right, it was OK, until it finished. And it was actually when it was over, when the screen went blank, that it kind of reminded you, you of what it was like to lose her. Yeah, well, yeah. I watched it. Was the, <clears throat> I watched the first episode yesterday, so it's like an hour long. So I was sort of you sort of zoned into it, where I haven't I haven't heard her voice for a while, or or mm. seen any programs on her for a while. Um, so I was sort of zoned in. I didn't want it to end because it was like it sort of brought her back from getting me her back. Bit. Yeah, yeah and it makes you feel closer to her as soon as you hear her, because no one sounds like Jade. As soon as Jade talks, you know you can tell it's <laughs> yeah. Jade from a mile away. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, so tonight we're going to get to see some of the happier moments yeah. uh, for you two, which is um, how you got together. How did you get together? Uh, we met in a nightclub uh, just around the corner from me in Essex. Mm. And then uh, I didn't speak to her for a while. We didn't speak for a while and then we met in the same club again. So. And you fibbed initially, didn't you? Tried to sound more impressive than you fibbed. Yeah, you well, I, just a little bit, yeah. I've put on an extra five years on the age, I think. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what, you, were, you were about 70, because we were yeah. talking um, backstage and you said that you must have been about 12 years old when she was actually on Big Brother, so you didn't really know the JPD yeah, I didn't that watch we it, came so. to know initially from the show yeah. when, when she was on there. That's another thing, watching the programme yesterday, I didn't watch the first Big Brother, so I didn't know how much... Well, I knew she got abused, but I didn't realise to the extreme. She had a thick, really thick skin, she could take a lot, but the main worries for her was she didn't want to say the wrong things and everything... Her whole life stopped and she stopped earning money for the boys and, and, and everyone hated her. She didn't want that. 2002 Big Brother. This is before Facebook. This is before mm, all social the social media, media social that media. we know now, before Strictly, before X Factor, mm -hmm. before all of those juggernauts. You know, this was the show that was the dominant format in the landscape and was changing the way we viewed television, how we viewed celebrities. It was an extraordinary time. And I remember media analysts at the time that I was working alongside said that Jade was the one to watch. She was the one with the twinkle. She was the one with the sparkle. And whenever you met her, she was herself 150%. It was impossible not to fall in love with her. And a lot of people said, I think Stephen Fry said she was basically Princess Di from the wrong type, the side of the tracks. Mm. Uh, yeah. Her mum, Jackie, who I know you know very well, said, you know, she went on Bring Brother to get, she admitted, to get away to get from away her from grim that, home that, life yeah. and, and to make something for herself and for the boys that came along. And so... A lot of the criticisms that she had, however valid, you could sort of see the drive, and I yeah. guess well, that's that one of the things she loved goal. about that was her. Everything she worked towards was for her boys and to give the boys a good upbringing. And apart from her, her incredibly strong desire to protect her boys and to, and, and to leave them in a, in a great spot, what would you say was her best characteristic? How do you sum up that? Just how caring she was, really. She just... It was never about herself. She just cared about everyone else first. She put everyone before herself all the time. Unfortunately, just when life was looking great, you two were together. Yeah. Uh, she was providing for her boys. Um, disaster struck and, mm -hmm. and ultimately fatal disaster that she had cervical cancer. Um, what was that time like for you two, first of all? Um, well, obviously it was... It was horrible. It was it was the worst time you could possibly go through. Tonight, and that she it was terminal. And like obviously, deep in yourself, you you don't believe it. You still think, no, it's obviously not going to happen. Something's going to happen. She's mm. going to pull through. And but like deep down, you do know that eventually this is going to come to. And do you think it? Your do life you think it? Do you think it helped her? to be able to kind of go through that last act of her life in public, to play it out in public. Yeah, definitely. I mean, her uh, uh, whole life to, from when she went into Big Brother was every single second was in the public eye. That's mm. what she knew and that's mm. what she wanted to do. She wanted to live it out. She wanted to show everyone, make everyone aware of, of, of being uh, tested for the cervical yes. cancer, not leaving it too late. She just, she just wanted... To, to make as much money for her boys. So. And she had a massive effect, didn't she? Huge. She called it the Jade Goody Huge. effect. Yeah. I think it was 500,000, half a million people All those went in those checked. weeks afterwards mm. yeah. to get checked. And actually, it slumped dramatically to a 20-year low now, so mm. we kind of need to hear that message even more. And I think we? things like this, this, this programme would help that, because I've got a, so many messages in the last week of, of how many people saying, oh, Jade's helped me so much because of Jade, I've gone and got checked and I've got found this and blah, blah, blah. And if, if she was able 
to look down now and see us having this conversation and know that this documentary series yeah. is going out, what do you think she'd make of it ten years on? What do you think she'd think about I, it? I think she'd love it, of course. Would she? Yeah. Of course, That's still it. getting spoken about ten years on and still yeah. massively known and whatever, she'd love it, of course. And what about you, briefly? How are you doing? Um, a big hole still, isn't there? Yeah, of course, yeah. It's, it's, I'm all right. I just, just, get, just get by, you know what I mean? I just get on with it. But, yeah, it's, I haven't met anyone. I don't feel like I could meet anyone yet. There's no one really compares to Jade, so I don't want to put that person... It's not fair on the person to put, person sure. to put through that, so... Mm. At the moment, no. Well, you're not unhappy. I'm not unhappy. But no. we hope you find greater happiness as yeah, the years go by. Thank you. And I'm and sure well she, done I'm for sure keeping she up too. the cause that, that she started as well yes. and talking about. Thank you. Well, the first episode in that uh, series of three... Episode. Second, sorry, the yeah, second yeah. episode of that series of three is out uh, tonight, 9 o'clock on Channel 4.